Here we are finding the average rate of change of a function. Remember the average rate of change is just the slope formula. However, even though we have the x values, the first x value and the second x value, we don't have the y values. However, we can find them by plugging them into this function. So y1, I will get by plugging in x1. which we get 28. Y2 we get by plugging in X2. Which is 193. Then we plug it into the slope form to find the average rate of change. So we get the y2 value minus the y1 value over the x2 value minus the x1 value. So we end up with 165 over 5, which is equivalent to 33. So the average rate of change is 33 units.